Hi, welcome to Joy and Sweet and Savory Creations and happy Sunday. For today, I am going to make some chili, my version of chili. Um, I actually don't like real spicy chili, but I will show you or tell you how you can enhance that spicy flavor if you want. So, so I'm going to just show some of my ingredients I have here. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. Uh, earlier today, I did um, a fall decoration um, video. I'm going to try to do some different videos to show more of what I like to do. I cook, I decorate, I plan parties. I write. Yes, I write. I have a book that's going to come out next year. I've been trying to publish this book for the last three years. It will happen for 2020. I promise you guys. So, um, you can use any kind of chili seasoning. I got some from uh, Walmart here. Just some regular chili seasoning or you could just use chili powder yourself. We're going to use some garlic powder in here. Um, black pepper, which soon I'm going to be needing some black pepper, a little seasoning salt, you know, and I love, 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 love to put diced uh, tomatoes in my chili. Um, you can get the diced tomatoes that already have the chili seasoning in them, or you can just regular and spruce it up yourself. And I like Brooks mild chili beans they are very good season well very good in chili of course it's your preference to your preference what kind of chili beans you would like to use but those are what i'm using today i have my ground beef and i have two cans of tomato sauce that i'm going to put in i have my green pepper that i'm going to dice up and my onion so let's get into it so we're going to get this uh, pot heated up for the ground beef. I'm just going to cut the ground beef open out of the pack. Let me turn this around a little bit. And I'm going to put it off and do it over the sink. Blood runs everywhere and I don't want it running everywhere now of course if you are fixing chili for a big crowd it's just me and my daughter if you're fixing chili for a bigger crowd you would use more ground beef of course but since it's just me and her i'm going to just use this which is i think it's let me see This is about two pounds, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to cut the part where it tells you how many pounds. Anyway. Anywho. Who, who. Um, you can use as much ground beef as you would like. Okay. So I'm just going to... I'm going to wipe my hand right here on my towel. And I'm just going to uh, smash, mix in the ground beef like this so it can start when it do get hot. This pot. It can start uh, browning. And you want to make sure that some people not me but some people and i'm not knocking it if that's what you do but um some people don't drain the meat once it brown uh not me i prefer to drain my meat the grease from it because it makes um if you don't know this that's why a lot of people have a lot of heartburn because they don't drain their meat 
And as you see, I'm adding in my garlic powder, the rest of it. I almost freaked out, guys, because I thought I didn't have any more. But I did. Yeah, so I'm adding my garlic. Garlic powder in there it smells good. I'm going to add a little seasoning salt. And this seasoning salt, I have to be really careful with it because I'm going to turn this. So I got my oven set on two right now, but I'm going to turn it up to a little bit to four so we can get it cracking here. This seasoning salt comes out heavy. So I try not to see, I just sprinkle just a little because it comes out real heavy and I don't want it salty. Yes, I said salty. I don't want it salty, people. So I'm gonna add in some black pepper. And um, some people, they, they start the pot with a little oil to get it started, but it's enough fat in the ground beef for it to have its own oil. So I'm trying to trying to cook a little smart and a little healthier, even though I got a long way to go. <laughs> so I'm going to let, see, it's starting. I hear it. So I'm going to just combine all the seasoning in here. Um, some people put cumin. I never had cumin. Um, so I think next year, one of my goals is to try different seasonings. seasonings. Um, excuse me. I tried, um, cilantro. Didn't like it. It has a funny aftertaste to me and I didn't care for it. So that's off my list. <laughs> so if you guys was with me last week, I made fried chicken and fried corn. And in the middle of me frying my chicken, a freak accident happened. And I don't understand why it happened, but it did. Some grease popped on my hand. Look guys. And it made two scars on my hand and I knew it was gonna scar up because it stings so bad. And like I said, I don't know how that happened. I mean, that was just one of those freak accidents and I have, I have a burn from when I was little. I don't know if you can see it. Right there on my other side from my iron when I was little. I remember that. It left a scar. So I'm going to give me some cocoa butter or some aloe vera or something to put on it. Maybe those two spots will go away. Anyway, as you hear and see, my ground beef is making its own grease. That's why, I don't know, maybe it's the new generation thing. But, um... A lot of people I know just put oil to, you know, get the skillet started on some stuff. Yeah, but I think with ground beef, you see all the oil in there? You see that? It makes it own grease, and I'm going to drain it. So, while that's cooking, I'm going to get my, my drainer out. Break my bowl. Yeah. Yes. And so, probably in another week, I will be doing a bread pudding uh, video. Uh, my cousin requested it. My cousin Nene, shout out to her. I love her to death. Um, she requested that I make one on YouTube, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I also uh, had a little trial one, run with one, and it came out. So I, I was told, very delicious. So now that I know how to make one, I'm going to do one for YouTube in a couple of weeks. Um, my daughter, I'm so proud of her. She's working. 
Dora thing. She will be 21 in another week. Yes. Well, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a week and a half. She'll be 21. And I got some plan for and in the works for a while. And she's just been trying to find out what we are doing. But she will find out soon enough. She's about to step into grown mom womanhood. Yes. So I'm just continuing to. Now I'm going to let that continue to cook. I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to start chopping my onion and my green pepper. Where is my knife? Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit too because I don't want it to be hard. I want the meat to still be tender. Have you ever had somebody's hamburger or Uh, taco meat, spaghetti meat that's overcooked. I have. So, that's why you want to make sure that you don't have your fire up too high. And especially with cooking on these electric stoves. Let me tell you a quick story. When I first moved to Ohio, y'all, I'm going to tell you. burnt up everything just about because I was not used to cooking on the electric stove because where I'm from, Chicago, Illinois, woo -woo, uh, all I knew all my life since I was born into this wonderful world was gas stoves. Actually, no shade. To the electric stove, but I actually prefer electric over gas, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because, um, to me, they cook better. I'm just not gonna beat around the bush with it, they cook better, and they actually, uh, especially bake better. I mean, it's awesome. My grandmother, um, she had um, electric, I mean, gas stove. And she get her cast iron skillet, which I have a new one, but I haven't used it yet. But I will. And uh, she uh, put that chicken in there, honey. Mm. It fry up so good on that gas stove. Everybody got their preference. That's just my mindset. I, I wish I did have a gas stove. But I notice most places here, they have the electric. And I've been here in Ohio for 21 years because my daughter was born here. And She'll be 21 next month. So we've been here 21 years. And I have mastered the electric stove. Now my daughter, she still ain't got it yet. She still be kind of merry. We kind of leery on um, using the stove. I told her you gotta learn her boo because Sometimes mama don't feel like cooking all the time. So I'm gonna move my board over so you all can see me cut this <laughs> onion. Oh, yeah. So I'm kind of cutting it kind of rough chop here, but I'm going to just go through it again and just do it like that. Okay, so I cut maybe half of the green pepper and half of the onion. I never use the whole thing. I'm gonna put that back in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna 
give my ground beef over here that's cooking. Yes, stir. It's almost done. I'm gonna make sure all the pink is out because you don't want to get sick. So, just want to make sure all the pink is out and the meat is chopped up good. I love chili. I really do. And my daughter, we need a before and after video of her eating chili because this cow, she's off tomorrow. So guess what? When I come home, it part maybe, maybe I should go back on, make another video tomorrow to show you how much chili is gonna be left <laughs> for tomorrow because this girl gonna kill it. She's gonna kill it. I was supposed to make it yesterday, but but I worked on my day off. Yay, more money. And um I did not feel like cooking. I was tired. I worked from 6 30 until 1 did almost eight hours so i'm just draining my meat in the strainer like that i told you i don't know why some people they like the grease so do that. make sure it's all drained out now i'm going to bring my camera over here and this is what I do now I'm about to build my chili I'm about to build my chili so I'm going to add in those diced green peppers and onions and then I'm going to add my my beans my crushed tomatoes my tomato sauce and um lastly i didn't show this but i usually put like a few tablespoons of sugar so i'm going to open up my first can of beans which is like i said is i'm gonna mix the green pepper and onions up in there First big can of the beans is going in, about to open it. And like I said, you can use any kind of beans. You can use kidney beans. You can make them fresh. It, your process will be longer, but if that's how you like it. That's fine. And this wants to splatter all over me. Would I rather it be that than grease? So let me open this can here. I'm pouring all the juice and everything in. Okay, so that's one can. Then I'm gonna add in another one. If you want more beans, hey, you're welcome to add more beans. So I'm gonna put my other can, get my other can open. So I can combine it, what's in the pot. Now, that's something my mom never really, there was a lot of stuff that I cook that she don't cook. Like, she never really cooked chili. I love chili, though. I mean, I think it's something very hearty, and this weather that we're having, is yesterday would have been really perfect for chili because it was cold, rainy all day. So yesterday would have been really perfect when I was supposed to cook it. Again, I'm adding all the juice and the beans. Add them in, add them in, add them in, add them in, add them in. All right. Then I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. OK. 
okay? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do both cans. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna mix this in. And let me see how much it uh, expands in the pot. Yeah, let's see, we'll see if we'll add another can. So, are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? I can't believe that next month is Thanksgiving. I mean, it came, this year has gone fast. We only got a couple more months of the year and we'll be into 2020. So, I'm adding a can of crushed tomatoes. Like I said earlier, you can use the ones that already have uh, chili flavor in them. Most of the time I get the plain because I'm using the, oh, I got the chili powder in there. I'm using the chili powder and everything. So guys, I think I'm just gonna do one can. So I'm gonna put this other can back. And then I'm going to add my chili seasoning. Like I said, you can use chili powder. You can add your own. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to spice it up. I do not like spicy. Uh, hot chili, neither does my daughter, nor does she. So, um, you can use hot peppers, jalapeno peppers. Uh, what else? Mm, all the spicy um, spices that you would use to spice it up. Cayenne pepper, all of that hot spicy stuff, if you want to spice it up. Just be careful when you're doing your peppers that you do not touch your face. Okay, so as you see, I just added my chili powder to chili seasoning to the pot. And it's looking good already, y'all. Okay, then to this, I am going to add both cans of tomato sauce. You can use tomato sauce or tomato paste. I think my grandma used to use tomato paste. She used tomato paste a lot, which tomato paste, it allows it to be thicker, um, faster than the tomato sauce, but you know, it's cool. I got some crushed tomatoes in there, so I'm not worried about that. It'll, it'll be a good consistency. So I'm pouring in my, my first can of tomato sauce. I'm gonna add my second one. And then guys, that's it. I'm gonna add uh, a little more seasoning. Go ahead and taste it first. Make sure it doesn't need any more salt or anything. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar just to offset the salt a little bit. I don't know, I just, um, I just like a little sugar in my eyes. Okay, so I'm about to stir this up. Give this a stir. As you see, it's looking like chili already, but it's not done because my green peppers, my onions, and all my seasoning and everything has to cook. So it's not done yet. So I'm going to add to this some cups of water. Um, some people put chicken stock in there. You can do that. I never do, though, but it's all of your preferences. I'm just showing you guys how I make my chili, so hopefully you like this recipe. Um, and hopefully you'll use it. But as always, I always say it's your preference how you want. And I'm going to stir this in, get us a nice stir. You want enough liquid in there because it's going to cook down and get thick and you still want a nice, see that? You still want to be able to have your uh, uh, chili to be having a good consistency. And then I eat crackers with mine, y'all. You know, my, my grandmother, that's what she used to use was crackers. I'm gonna go. Some people eat cornbread. I think that's a, a southern or no, I don't think it's a southern. Maybe a Texas thing, I guess. 
pour it. Well, I'm pouring these cans away. And then we're gonna get started with putting this chili on this fire, y'all. I'm gonna add a little seasoning. So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna turn it down on two. Turn it on in two. Let's see. Y'all can see how that looks. Doesn't that look great? Great, great, great. Yes, 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 yes. So, I'm going to add in some more pepper. It's going to have pepper and chili. I will do the pepper now. And also, another thing that you can use to heat up your chili is crushed red pepper. But a lot of people, when they, the ones that really like it spicy, oh my God, they use, like I said, jalapeno peppers, all kind of hot peppers and Kanye pepper. And God bless their stomachs and their souls. But, okay, so I'm going to add some more garlic in here and a little seasoning. So I'm going to give it a taste and make sure that it's, be all right. I'm gonna get out of stir. This is not my typical Sunday dinner either, guys. You know, but sometimes you just want something different. You know, greens, and I'm about to have all that in a few weeks anyway. Greens, turkey, all that stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to taste this and see. I was tasting here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No more salt. So we're gonna do some sugar. Just two of them. Two tablespoons, ladies and gents. And we are going to stir this in. Mm, from the bottom. Make sure you stay all the way from the bottom. Now I got this down on two on low. I put the lid over it so it can go on and cook, take its time to cook. It's no rush, boo. It's no rush, chili. And that is it. So I will come back when this is done. It's chili. And sorry. And show you the finished product. So again from Joanne Sweet and Sari Creations. Bye bye and happy Sunday. Bye.